Hello and welcome to the wedding photo studio. Um, I'm Daniel. I'm actually kind of jumping in for Richie at this moment. I'm the NPS manager from Germany, but I'm really, really, really happy to be here with Brett, our ambassador who came from Amsterdam and brought his lovely, lovely wedding couple to yeah. take you through all things wedding photography. Welcome very much to the Nikon days. Thank you so much. Welcome to the <laughs> Z9. I see a big, big smile on your face. Uh, absolutely thrilled to be here and... Uh, yeah, this is next level. Unbelievable. Very cool. Very excited. Thank you. Yeah. And I'm really happy to just uh, give you into the very, very capable hands of one of our favorite ambassadors to tell you uh, what he does on a wedding shoot, what he does uh, to shoot a couple on their most important day of their life. Yeah. And I'm certain that you will learn so many things about it. So you enjoy the camera. Thank you so shoot, much. And you enjoy everything that you will see now. Thank you. I'll Thank you, you Daniel. Thank you. Bye. Okay, so today uh, I'm going to be taking you through a few tips and tricks that I've picked up uh, over the years of shooting weddings. I've shot over a thousand weddings and uh, I'm still learning. There are so many different uh, aspects to photography that uh, uh, really uh, so exciting for us to be continually learning. I'm going to be sharing with you uh, some techniques that I use at every single wedding to enhance or evoke or even create uh, emotion. I shoot in very much a editorial style, so fashion inspired. The clients that I uh, attract are clients that are uh, clients that read Vogue, Vanity Fair, Harper's Bazaar, those kinds of magazines. So my poses uh, are very much fashion inspired. Uh, one of the things that I find um, challenging, I teach a lot, and I found uh, through the people that I teach, the photographers that I teach, that posing is a challenge to them. How they articulate to the subject, uh, their vision is a challenge. What to say, uh, you know, avoid the cheesy lines and the che cheesy jokes. How do you talk to your client to get them to do what you want them to do? Uh, I think the, the most important thing, first of all, is to make sure that you know your camera inside and out, and that you've set up your camera in a way that allows you an efficient workflow. I'm going to be taking you through a few of those settings as I'm shooting. Uh, I do talk quite a lot and shoot not that much, uh, so please be patient with me, uh, JD and, and Giorgio. Uh, as I'm shooting, I might say I'm going to shoot now and then I'll think about something and start to talk, so just be patient uh, with me over there. Uh, but yeah, let's get into it. Um, I think when you are trying to articulate to your uh, subjects, what you want them to do. There are many things that are important, but I think one of the most important things uh, is to use positive language. Tell them what you want them to do. Don't tell them what you don't want them to do. Uh, it is an emotionally charged event, a wedding. Uh, there's a lot of emotions and anxiety uh, going around. And if I can bring calm to the situation, my images are going uh, to reflect that. So a uh, couple of things that uh, I implement when I'm about to shoot uh, the couple. First thing I'm going to do is I'm going to look at their body language. And I obviously I'm going to shoot the groom on his own, I'm going to shoot the bride on her own, and then the two of them together as a couple. Now, you're not necessarily going to deal with people that are confident in front of the camera. So who do you shoot first? Do you shoot the couple first? Do you shoot the groom? Do you shoot the bride? Uh, what do you do? Now, I look at their body language and I decide from their body language who the most confident is, who's the most excited to be photographed, and I will start with them. If they are both excited, doesn't matter who you start with, and if they're both nervous, then start together as a couple so that uh, they feel safe and secure with each other. So, if I look at my couple now, they are both confident and ready to go, so uh, it doesn't really matter who I uh, start with. Just in terms of the setup that I have uh, with, with the camera, I'm going to talk to you uh, a little bit about the function buttons, because the function buttons are in a really clever place in terms of the ergonomics of the camera. And you need to utilize the function buttons. So the top function button, uh, function button number one, I've set up as my playback button. So as I'm shooting, I can see 
what I've shot instead of shooting like this and then looking down at the ca at the camera at the, at the LCD I can look straight into the uh, uh, I can look straight into the viewfinder and I can see the image playing back to me uh, through the viewfinder so I'm only going to do that just to show in terms of um, the demonstration so you don't have to pose you don't have to do anything just stand there looking as gorgeous as you are looking right now and the cool thing about this is I can now have a look at all the different settings that I need to look at what I've also done is I've made the control ring on the lens my exposure value button instead of this button over here instead of the EV button here I've made it the control ring over here so I can control the exposure and by pressing the display button which is right here by my thumb I can then look at the histogram and get to a point where I can see I'm just not crushing the blacks because I really like the contrast that's going on over here and if I had to take that shot right now uh, in I don't want to take the camera away from my face, but I want to look at the, the playback image. So let's have a look at that. I press the function button and there is the image over there. I don't have to take it away from my face. Uh, the second thing that I've done is the second button. I've put... Uh, I've used it to set the picture controls. So from here, I can literally go through the preset picture controls and I really like shooting in black and white. So let's just have a look at that. And exactly like that, take the shot and playback. I can see it over there and I'm happy with that. Um, I don't particularly like doing this all day. Uh, it does save the battery as well with the LCD. I mean, the battery on this camera is phenomenal, but I'm not looking at uh, the back of my screen uh, all the time, and I don't have reflections uh, distorting the images. Uh, so, yeah, looking at the, at the electronic viewfinder is really, really cool for me. So, uh, as I'm talking, I'll think of other things to uh, talk to you about, but what I'm going to do now is because you both look so fantastic, I'm going to start with the two of you together. Now, usually if you've got side lighting, uh, it's going to determine how that affects your pose, because I always shoot uh, narrow side lighting, uh, but here we've got beautiful soft natural light everywhere uh, it's not very contrasting so uh, it doesn't really matter uh, in terms of which direction i pose the subjects so uh giorgio uh if you could please give your gorgeous bride uh these flowers uh, let's take the autumn colored ones for now that'll be great that's cool and we're really going to start off with a standard wedding posed as simple as possible uh, if also if you could just take the chair away that's great thank you so in the environment in the environment that i'm in right now i have uh, uh white options over here to me i've got the the window light over here but i really like this dark contrast uh, in the back i think it really makes the dress pop and especially now with the gorgeous flowers that we have over there so uh jd um if you could put your left elbow up onto Giorgio's shoulder and let the arm hang over there like that. That's perfect. Giorgio, put your right hand around her waist, but pull her in nice and close. I want to feel a little bit of tension. That's gorgeous. Perfect. Uh, I'm, during the course of all of this, I might be coming in to move hair and touch and things like that. So please uh, be aware of that. That's very nice. Okay. So this is quite a fashion styled uh, shot. It's not showing uh, in terms of body language that he is connected to her, but I'm going to shoot it so that it gives me options. Okay, so I am shooting in RAW and in uh, JPEG. So the picture control is going to be on the RAW file, which means I can send it out straight away onto my phone with SnapBridge and I can post as I'm going along if I want to do something like that. Uh, so I'm going to shoot this image in black and white. Uh, in post-production, if I didn't want it in black and white, uh, I could, I've still got the RAW file. So one of the techniques that, uh, that I uh, use when I'm shooting is I talk about your Monday morning face, your Wednesday face, and your Friday night face. Uh, trying to evoke emotions from people uh, can be a little bit difficult. And if I just say to you, okay, smile, 
it can be false. It can come across as being quite inauthentic. So you know what a Monday morning face looks like. You're going to work Monday morning, a little bit demure, but bringing in a little bit of attitude as well. So Monday morning, Wednesday, a little bit of a smile, weekend's coming, and then Friday night. That's what I want from you. That's fantastic. Okay, so um, Giorgio, turn your body in towards JD a little bit more. That's perfect. I like the look on your face, uh, and we are looking really good there. Okay, and you'll see here that the eye detection has picked up uh, JD's face, but there's a little arrow there uh, pointing towards uh, other options. And right over here with my thumb, I, I move the joystick to the other eye, and I can also move it to his face, depending on where I want it. I want it exactly where it is now, so I'm happy with that. And right, let's go. Both of you, Monday morning. Very cool. That's great. And Wednesday, here we go. Fantastic. And Friday. Happy days, guys. Friday night. That is wonderful. Okay, JD, instead of your hand being over there, just bring it over Giorgio's shoulder and bring your fingers in a little bit more like that. Heads a little bit closer together. Giorgio, turn your body in towards JD. Put your right leg behind her more. That's cool. And then your left hand onto her hip because I wanted a bit more standard wedding type of pose. JD, tilt your head. Use words like tilt, um, rotate, practice articulating to your subjects what you want from them. It, it, it's so much easier when you give them the correct direction. So practice at home on your friends, family, girlfriend, boyfriend, whatever. Just practice talking to, to someone uh, like that. Okay, so JD, bring your flowers in a little. Yeah, that's cool. That's perfect. Right, good job. Keep it just like that. And then... Um, Right, so, so when you're thinking about options, a lot of the times photographers are shooting and they're like, they, they, there's, there's a blank. What am I going to shoot next? How, how do I get options from this? So I've shot this, I've, they've done what I've told them to do, I've got the shot, I know I've nailed it, but now what? So I could go Monday, Wednesday, Friday and get three options. And I could also throw in, look down, look straight at me, look up or look down, look straight at me, look away. So just in this scenario over here, we're gonna shoot a whole lot just as I'm shooting, okay? So here we go. And you can see there my focus peaking is, is on. So I know my, I've nailed my focus. If I wanted to, I think my blacks are a little bit crushed, so I'm just gonna go up there. It's a little bit much there. Let's just go down on my exposure. That's cool. Okay, so here we go. Right, both of you, Monday morning. Here it is. That's it. Beautiful. Good job. Okay, JD, your face looking down at the floor there. Giorgio, your face looking down at the floor there. When you're shooting people looking uh, away, getting a nice X instead of them looking at each other, where they both looking at each other feels a bit com uncomfortable, shooting with an X where her nose is pointing this direction, his nose is pointing that direction, that's going to give me some options. All right, so we're looking down. That's great. And when I say looking down, I don't mean looking depressed. I mean looking down. Okay, and let's go uh, Wednesday. That's nice, both of you. And Friday night. Nice, happy giggles. That's cool. All right, from there, both of you looking over here in this direction. Keep your head nice and close next to Giorgio there, Janie. JD, and bring your eyes this way for me. So, uh, yeah, that's it. Both of you looking at my hand over there. All right, fantastic. And Monday, that's it. Wednesday, there we go. And Friday night, that's very cool. Wonderful. Thank you so much. Uh, from there, uh, I could go with a different, uh, a whole array of different options. Uh, Giorgio, please just put JD's flowers down uh, on the chair over there, and then we'll um, do a couple of poses just with the two of you over there. And instead of your hand up over his uh, shoulder, I want it around his waist there. Right, nice and close together. This shows the dress off absolutely beautifully. Today I'm going to be shooting a lot more in uh, a horizontal mode, uh, landscape, because uh, of, the, of the format of this presentation, but I would be shooting quite a bit more portrait. But just because uh, we're on uh, television or, or we're on your, on your screen, um, I'm going to be doing it a lot more horizontal. Okay, so hold on to each other, both hands. Okay, so now 
if I look at them, I can see uh, in terms of their relationship that Giorgio really likes uh, holding on nicely there, which is great. But what message do I want to send to the mother of the bride, the parents of the bride? I want to send a message that she is going to feel safe, secure, and loved. So instead of putting your hand on her but I want you to put a hand just underneath her elbow. So you're just cupping her elbow with this hand. Perfect. Now it looks like you're protecting her. You're nice. And uh, she feels nice and safe. JD, from you, in terms of your face, I want to see I feel safe. Okay. Heads nice and close together. Beautiful. Right. Here we go. That's great. Good job. Uh, your fingers, uh, what I see there, that her fingers are quite horizontal. It matters. These types of details matter. So instead of having your hand horizontal like that, uh, nice and soft and bring it up his bicep. Just a, perfect. Right. Good job. Just like that. I'm still watching my histogram there and I think I'm going to come up a little bit. Beautiful. Right. Both of you looking at me and let's go Monday morning. Here we go. Nice and that's it. Beautiful. Very cool. And Wednesday. There we go. And Friday. Nice and happy. Perfect. Both of you looking down again now. Chin down a little bit more there, JD. And looking in different... Yeah. So, Giorgio, you're looking over here. JD, you're looking over there. And JD is on Friday and Giorgio is on Monday. <laughs> okay. So, both of you, let's go. Friday night. Happy days. Saturday night. It's all happening. That's fantastic. Really, really cool. Both of you looking at me. That's great. Absolutely gorgeous. Instead of your hand on his bicep, bring it up onto his uh, chest there. Uh, and again, nice and close together. Perfect. Right, here we go. And I could go through the whole thing over and over again so that I've got literally nine options per pose, but I'm not going to do that right now. JD, your right hand, I want you to bring up onto Giorgio's face over there. Keep it nice and soft. Bring him in close to you. From there, that's it. Beautiful. Okay. Now uh, chin down a little bit, Georgia. Perfect. Keep it just like that. And both of you nice and happy, happy and giggling, laughing. Beautiful. JD, now you're going to turn your forehead towards uh, Georgia and chin down a little bit more. And uh, just look at me, push your chin out like a chicken. Okay. <laughs> All right. Beautiful. And there's a little bit of hair coming in your front of your face here, JD. Just put it. Yeah, that's cool. Okay, let's get back to that there. Beautiful. That's it. Nice. And uh, eyes closed a little bit there. Giorgio looking down, to the chin down a little bit more. Beautiful. JD, eyes closed. That's it. Gorgeous. Okay, now, JD, you turn your face to me. And Giorgio, you put your forehead in towards... Yes, that's it. Perfect. Okay, hold it there over there. JD, chin down just a little bit. That's it. Fantastic. And now I need a bit of movement, so bring your hand down his... Uh, down his arm and uh, down his uh, chest a little bit. That's it. Perfect. And uh, Giorgio, you're going to hold on to her forearm with your hand there. Yes, yes, yes. I love that tension. Gorgeous. Okay. So now I, in your face, I can see uh, there's, there's tension, there's passion, there's magnetic attraction. I want to evoke that emotion. Uh, so, so, what I could do here, uh, and I was going to do this a little later, but I can see that it's perfect to do it right now. JD, turn your back to Giorgio so you're facing towards the wall there. Yeah, that's cool. Okay, that's, yeah, that's perfect. Okay, Giorgio, bring this hand down a little bit more. JD, turn your face in this way and chin down a little bit. Okay, now if I had to say to the groom, uh, put your face against hers, then just do that. It's like, yeah, if you look at that, it's, uh, yeah, what is that? You know, he's done what he's supposed to do, but the direction that I'm giving isn't evoking emotion. So what I want you to do here, I want you to smell her perfume. You go in there and you, that's what I want. Okay, JD, chin down, looking down at the floor and beautiful. JD, twist, rotate your body towards me a little bit more. Gorgeous. I like the way you're pulling her towards you there, Giorgio. Eyes closed, JD. And Giorgio, Giorgio, your fingers have come through on the other side of her body. I would rather not see them. So just, yeah, that's it. That's cool. Okay. Keep it just like that. Chin down a little bit. Okay. So from here, um, I can now do Monday, Wednesday, Friday, if I wanted to, uh, or, um, Let's just say, for example, right now, I have just suddenly run out of ideas. Uh, 
and it happens to a lot of professionals, sometimes it happens to me too, uh, a trick that I use uh, to remind me of certain poses, of certain things that I want to do, um, I take a picture of a mood board that I've created specifically for this wedding or this assignment that we're doing here. I take a picture on the camera, either of the screen or I print it out on a piece of paper and I take a picture of it. And as I'm shooting, now let's just say, for example, I've run out of ideas and I'm shooting, I'm thinking, okay, I've done this. Um, I had a thousand ideas in my head at home, but I really don't know what to do right now. Remember that I made my function button this button over here, the F1 button, the function button number one, I can press that as playback. Now I just go to my mood board and the client doesn't know what I'm seeing and I can look at that and I go, okay, that image down at the bottom there uh, where she's got her hand wrapped around underneath his arm, that's what I'm going to do next. Uh, and I, they don't know that, I'm cheating, I've got a little cheat sheet uh, going on there. So what I'm going to do now, uh, is JD, what I'd like you to do, turn your body back in towards uh, Giorgio and your left arm, bring it in the front of his body. So I want you to bring it up and underneath his arm over, over here. This hand's coming in over here, yeah? And then this hand is gonna come up and hold on to him here. You're holding on over there like that. Uh, Giorgio, as handsome as you are, your head is at the back looking down. <laughs> And jo um, JD, you're bringing him in close. Perfect, that's beautiful. Chin down a little bit, bring him in nice and close there. And I can have a look at this. And okay, just in terms of my uh, presentation, I think we're done with black and white. Let's move on uh, back to um, uh, a neutral uh, option. Or well, let's go standard. Okay, so there we go, that's it, beautiful. Just like that. Okay, and uh, I want your shoulder much more rounded so I can see the back of the dress. That's lo lovely, chin down looking at the floor. Okay, and uh, that's it. Uh, Giorgio, your head, I need it down more, mate. That's cool, uh, very good. Okay, I could, in terms of my composition, I could go there, but I actually think this works quite nicely. So let me go over there. Again, I'm looking at my histogram, everything's cool. JD, eyes closed, looking down. Beautiful, and mouth closed as well. Lovely, I like that, okay. I can't remember the pose exactly, so I'm gonna go back to the shot, and I can see that his, her hand is on his face, so instead of, uh, so uh, Giorgio, you're gonna look at me now? Okay, JD, this hand is gonna stay there, but the other hand is going up onto his face. Uh, yeah, that's cool, let's have a look at that. Yeah, that looks good. Okay, Giorgio, I want both hands wrapped around her. So I want to see this other hand coming through. Yeah, that's it, that's it, that's it. Okay, uh, JD, turn your face to me a little bit more. And then Giorgio, if you can, turn your face more this way. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's fantastic. Now, I totally understand that this type of posing might... So I see the, the focus is on his eye, but they both similar distances away from me, so I'm not worried about uh, depth of field or anything here. Now, I understand that this type of posing might not work for you. It works for my clients, and this is what I do uh, when I'm implementing uh, techniques at, at a wedding. So, I could go on all day uh, over here, uh, but what I'm going to do now is I've done a couple of shots with you as a couple. Uh, what I'd like to do now is JD on your own. Uh, so Giorgio, you can take a little break, take a seat over there, and let's talk about what I'm going to do uh, with JD right now. So, um, because I attract fashion-inspired uh, clients, uh, I'm going to run through uh, almost a standard catalog posing, which works really, really nicely to give me options. And as I've said before, every single pose, every single opportunity, I can go Monday, Wednesday, Friday, look down, look at me, look away. So that's three, uh, well, six options per pose. So what I'd like you to do, JD, is two feet together. You're going to bend your one knee forward. It doesn't matter which knee she bends forward right now because we don't have directional lighting. So whatever comfortable for you, uh, you're gonna bend the one knee forward and you're going to drop that shoulder, the opposite shoulder. So you're gonna drop that shoulder. This shoulder must come down. Perfect. So from there, that's a really nice uh, foundation to start with. And then from there, as I'm shooting, um, she's going to, I'm going to instruct her to change 
poses. So from there, uh, perhaps fingers together, you're just playing with your fingers, you can put your hands together there, uh, maybe one hand on the hip, I'll shoot as I'm going, I will talk to you about that. Okay, so let's have a look at this. In fact, what I really like here, uh, this background uh, is uh, a background that's put together with clips and things. I'm inspired by, by Peter Lindenberg, and, and uh, I know that there was a really cool shoot done with uh, the, the, the supermodels of the late 80s, early 90s, where you can see the set as well. So instead of being right over there with a plain, back, plain black background, come a little closer here, we can see some wires in there, and literally go into the set there. Yeah, across this way a bit more. More, more, more. Go in, right in, yeah? Yeah, I like that. I like the wires on the floor. I like the clips on the, yeah? And I'm doing that intentionally. Whatever you're doing, make sure you're doing it intentionally. All right, so let's have a look at this. Okay, beautiful. Uh, let's start with the hands down. So starting there like that, drop that shoulder even more. Light, nice, beautiful, uh, feminine uh, body shape that I've, going, uh, that I've got going on there. And I can see from my histogram that um, I still have detail in the shadows, uh, but I could expose a little higher and retain details in the highlights without going too much. That's great. Right, good job. So from there, right, just play with your fingers, tickle your fingers. That's it. <laughs> Beautiful. And uh, just to show uh, people that are watching now the three different options, let's go Monday. That's it. And Wednesday. Nice. And Friday. Gorgeous. There we go. From there, uh, cup your, your one hand. I like what's happening there. That's cool. Right, stay that there. Uh, bend this elbow a little bit. Just in terms of posing, uh, I do understand that there are a lot of photographers out there that are teaching, and we all learn from uh, different inspirations. Uh, I heard one of the educators talking about if you can bend it, bend it. So that's really, really cool. Nice and happy Friday night. That's it. Okay, this hand, your, your right hand, uh, I want you to put, come, bring it across your body. Uh, put your elbow in like this. Yeah, that's great. Nice body shape. The dress designer is going to be happy. Let me just go a little bit further back just to see uh, what's going on here. That's it. Very cool. Uh, I will crop out this pillar uh, later on, but I like the wires and I like the uh, the clips in the uh, in the background. Okay, so that's good. So whilst you're there, this hand, just bring it into your face. That's beautiful. Uh, Giorgio, I'm, I'm going to shoot you as well, so don't worry too much about that. Okay, that's beautiful. And the autofocus on this camera is insane. Uh, you know, just in terms of what this camera is, uh, I think it's, it's taking the best from the uh, Z7, uh, the D850, and the D6. The, the focusing is bang on every single time. Uh, another trick that I, that I use, um, let's just say I'm coming in. Well, let me shoot this first, and then I'll come in and, and shoot. I like you playing with the veil there, too. That's cool. Yeah. Okay, there it is. Stunning. Beautiful. Chin down just a little bit. I love that. Pick up some of the veil and actually hold it uh, with your right hand. With your right hand, pick it all up, bring it in underneath there. Yes, bring it in underneath there. Lovely. And cup your hand again so that your elbow is in over there. Bringing that up in over there as well. Okay, beautiful. Right, there we go. Uh, highlights might be going out a bit, so let's just drop it a tiny bit there. Okay. Right, that is beautiful. So, uh, just talking again uh, about utilizing the, the tools that I have. Um, uh, I can check my focus without having to uh, disappear, uh, w without having to zoom out and, uh, sorry. I can check my focus without looking at my LCD. I'm gonna press my play button, and then I press the OK button without even taking it away from my face, and I can see I've nailed my focus. I'm, I, I don't even have to worry about what the camera's doing anymore. All I need to do is concentrate on evoking the best possible outcome from my subject. So, from there. Uh, you can drop this veil a little bit. Uh, one of the, uh, the tips or the techniques that I use is telling somebody to do something that they can relate to. So when you bring your, just bring your hand in a little bit closer to your face. Okay, right, beautiful. There we go. And right, what I want you to do now with your right hand, bring it up onto your forearm. Yes, even higher. Uh, 
That's cool. Keep it there a bit more shoulder for me. Beautiful. That's absolutely stunning. Keep it there like that. Now, drop the veil, keep, the, the, keep that hand there. What I want you to do now is to put, put your hands together and rub your hands together as if you're rubbing cream on in the morning. So I've got some movement, I've got some motion going on there. All right, there we go. And I can just shoot more shoulder, more shoulder. That's it, nice, good job. Beautiful, chin down a little bit more, closer into your body with your hands. And chin in, looking down at the floor there, chin down, eyes closed. Hands closer in, uh, right. One quick one, but it, it could be a little bit cheesy, but you remember uh, all those adverts where uh, they, they are selling shower gel and they're in the shower and they're rubbing, yeah. So just wash away, <laughs> that's it, beautiful. That's very cool, yeah. She knows what I'm talking about. If I say to her, put your hand on your shoulder, yeah, it, you know, you're not gonna evoke any emotion from that. JD, I'd love to shoot you all day, uh, but come out for a second. We've got a lot to get through. Uh, Giorgio, if you could please bring back that chair, uh, that would be cool. So if you can come through over here, put the chair down next to the black section over there. That's great. Cool. And what I'm looking from you, what I'm what I'm looking, uh, what I'm what I need from you, is uh, very much editorial styled posing. So GQ, uh, Esquire magazine, exactly as you are sitting right now would work for me. Perfect. So I'm coming back a little bit. And again, like I say, I would probably shoot this um, uh, portrait mode. And you can see his face is a little bit overexposed. So I'm going to drop my exposure because I've got it on the control ring, like I said here. Drop my exposure just a bit. And perfect. Love that shot. Very, very cool. Good job. Okay, instead of leaning back, lean forward. That's it. I like it. Very, very nice. Coming in a bit closer. And I'm constantly telling my subjects what I'm doing. Uh, I, I don't want my subjects to, to, to not have confidence in me. I, I always uh, reaffirm what they're doing uh, and give them positive guidance. You're doing really well there, mate. <laughs> Okay, and can we have a Friday from you? That's it, like it, very cool. Okay, I, I'm constantly giving a positive feedback. Uh, even if I take a shot and I'm way overexposed, I don't look at the image and go like, oh, um, uh, because I'm not instilling confidence. Uh, you know, you, yeah, imagine your, de your dentist did that halfway through drilling in your, like, oh, um, yeah, so, I, I always uh, am reaffirming uh, the, the subjects and, and positive uh, feedback all the time. Uh, turn the chair a little bit more sideways for me. Yeah, that's cool. Right, and one leg uh, right out to the side. That hand, I'd like, yes, that's nice. Perfect, and put that foot flatter on the ground. Yes, there we go. And again, I still like the set environment where I've got uh, the light stands and things in the background too. Okay, very, very cool. Uh, let's try some black and white. So I don't have to take it away from my face. I just switch, uh, I look at the, that's uh, the playback button. The second button is the picture control. And let's have a look at what we've got here. We've got monochrome. And uh, if we go on even further, we've got, that's a little bit dramatic, <laughs> but it really does depend on uh, the type of image. That's quite nice. So let's shoot this. I like that. Very cool. And again, I, as I mentioned, it's not affecting my, my raw file. Stand up, please. Let's take the chair away. That's great. So uh, with men, uh, it, uh, you can obviously, uh, if, you, if you really enjoy photographing men, uh, you can come up with as many poses as you do with women. Uh, there are some cool standard poses that you could uh, work on. The way he's standing right now is working for me. So let's have a look at that. That's fantastic. Just like that. And yeah, it will be a portrait shot uh, just to let you know that so there we go 
Okay, and then uh, as if you're doing up your button in uh, the, the, the top. Yeah, that's it. I like that. Let me come in a little closer here. Okay, right. Fantastic. And then eyes to me. That's very cool. Looking out over here this way. That's good. And from there, just as if you are pulling out the, yeah, that's it. Pulling out the sleeve there. Very good. Okay, let's fix the tie. Nice eyes to me. There we go. And as I'm doing that, let's just switch the picture control there. That's nice. That's very cool. Chin down a little bit. That's great. Good. Okay, I just thought uh, of, an, of another image. So bring the chair back here, please. <laughs> Always uh, speak nicely to your subjects. They're paying you a lot of money. <laughs> okay, take a seat for me, please. Right, and leaning right forward. So lean right forward. I'm gonna shoot this uh, at a very uh, shallow depth of field. I'm on 2.8 uh, and I'm gonna come in and literally, that's nice. I, I can see I'm a little bit under because of my histogram. So I'm gonna bring up the exposure just a bit. That's it, lean even more forward to me. That's cool, let me just fix this part over here for you. Okay, right, lovely stuff. Chin down a little bit more. That's nice, keep it there like that. And yeah, just in terms of cropping, uh, you know, mix it up, mix it up. See what you've done, uh, see what uh, magazines uh, are out there. Uh, I always get inspiration from uh, photographic, uh, sorry, from fashion magazines. Uh, I tend to stay away from looking at wedding photographers' work. I, I really like fashion photographers' work. Let's just check the focus on that. And yeah, pretty cool. There you go. Let's just take another little shot over there. Very cool. Yeah, perfect, perfect, perfect. Absolutely fantastic. What might be quite nice is a bit of a profile picture now. So turn your body in this way a little bit. Yeah, and looking straight towards the wall over there. Yeah, okay. That's nice. Love it. Okay, you can see my exposure has been compensated because there's a lot of black in the shot. That's it, turn your face a little bit more away from me. That too much, come back. Okay, now in terms of making this image a little bit more uh, dynamic, what I could do is uh, tilt the camera like this and let's just increase the exposure just a little bit. That's perfect. Cool stuff, here we go. Happy days. All right, so. I've run out of ideas again. What am I gonna do? Let's go and check the mood board. Uh, press play over there. Go to the mood board and oh, I can see over here, bottom right, I, can, uh, I need to shoot JD on the floor, but on the left hand side, I've got a really cool shot with a veil coming uh, over her. I'm finished shooting with the uh, white background now, uh, sorry, with the black background now. So Giorgio, you're nice and tall. If you could just take those clips off and get rid of all of that black, that would be really, really nice. JD, please come back in. All right, and then just come a little closer to me because I don't need you that far away from me. Uh, what I'm going to do now is uh, the shot that I saw uh, with my uh, the bottom left hand shot, uh, the shot where I'm using the veil as a bit of a tunnel uh, to uh, lead in towards the bride. So I'm going to bring this up and over your head. I know it's a huge veil, which is cool. It's very, very cool. But what I'm going to do here is, yeah, and I might need someone else to come and help me here. Uh, in fact, Giorgio, you're going to help me first. <laughs> Thanks, mate. Just hold this here for a sec. And that's exactly what I'm looking for. Try and go a little, yeah, but also, yeah, can, mm, you don't mind me biting your veil. Uh, let me get my camera in here first. Okay, so this veil is making a really nice tunnel. Uh, and what I can do here, uh, let me zoom out uh, a little bit more, and I'm a little bit overexposed here, so let me drop that just a touch. Okay, JD, chin down just a little bit. And I think this black and white is way too dramatic. So I'm just going to change my picture control setting here. And let's go to, 
I think we're just going to do this in a... Oh, that's nice. It's see portrait. Okay, portrait is beautiful here. Okay, right. That's stunning. Keep it like that. Lots more shoulder. Lovely chin down just a little bit. There we go. And I can come out a little more shoulder so I can see the back of the dress. Chin down. Uh, hold it there. Beautiful. Uh, looking down at the floor. Again, I probably would shoot this as a... Uh, uh, as a portrait shot, but it is working quite nicely. Uh, JD, keep your chin there, but tilt your head in this way. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Beautiful. Eyes to me. There we go. Stunning. Really, really nice. Now, uh, you can keep it there for a sec. Well, you don't have to keep your hands up, but keep it there for a sec. Um, uh, video. Switching to video. Uh, there are a lot of wedding photographers who are hybrid shooters uh, these days. So the ability to switch to video uh, is also uh, incredibly advantageous. Uh, it's opened up a whole new world. Uh, and I think that this shot over here lends itself perfectly to uh, shooting a bit of video. So as I've set up my camera already, uh, I know that all I have to do, and I can still do it as, as I'm uh, shooting, I can look at the back of the, uh, I don't have to look at the back, uh, but I can switch from stills to video seamlessly. I just switch over with one button, the record button's at the top, the client doesn't even know that I'm shooting video, and it can be an extra bonus. So if you can lift up the veil again there, that would be great. Okay, so JD, uh, you know I'm shooting video now because I've told everyone. But what I'd like you to do is li I'd like some movement, okay? So, so what you need to do is your chin into your shoulder, giggling a bit, shoulder up. And then what you could do is move the veil in and out. And then the, auto, uh, the eye detection uh, autofocus is going to obviously stay on uh, JD's eye right there. So this is the stills shot over here, okay? And I can then switch immediately without even taking my uh, eye away from the viewfinder. I can switch then to video. So now I'm in video. You can see that's uh, focus peaking, which is really cool. Uh, if I wanted to check my settings, you can see I'm on autofocus F over there. So it's full time uh, autofocus and I can go to the next one. I haven't even taken it away from my face and I can see that it is uh, autofocus subject detection options and it's on people. So it's on her eye and literally I need a bit of movement from you. So I'm recording, chin down. That's nice. Keep moving the, the veil a little bit there, uh, Giorgio, like right in front of the lens, man. Okay, JD, you can use your hands to your face a bit there. Nice. Beautiful. Giorgio, you can even go down out. Yeah, that's it. And back up again. Beautiful. All right. That's very cool. That would be so nice in slow motion. And as you can see, yes, Giorgio is loving this, eh? <laughs> Beautiful. That's very, very cool. Uh, I can press stop. Over there, press the stop on the record button over there. And then if I wanted to, I could uh, go back to stills, check my button there, and I can watch my video. And I've now become a hybrid shooter. So uh, I'm going to try this uh, on my own. <laughs> so what I'd like you to do, whilst the veil is over my head, I'm actually going to switch out lenses. So instead of the 70 to 200, I'm going to switch to the uh, 2470, just to give me a bit more uh, of a wider angle. All right, so let's have a look over here. Okay. All right, so um, what I'd like from you is... Uh, the veil's over my head. I'm focusing on her, but I want you to be there... Uh, I want you to come in, come in close next to her, hold her, put your head onto her head, uh, quite a lot of movement and motion. You are going to be outside of the veil. I'll be inside the veil. We'll see what happens. Okay, so thank you. <laughs> right, that's very cool. Uh, okay, we do have the poles from the backdrop in the shot. Um, yeah, that's cool. But I can, do, I can take those out in Photoshop if I wanted to. Okay, JD... Yeah, love the man back. Yeah, interact. Okay, turn your face to me, JD. Chin down, looking at the floor. Beautiful. Keep it like that. Okay. All right. I think I can switch back to video. So, Giorgio, 
uh, I need you out of the shot there, mate, just a little bit, and then you're going to come back into the shot. So what I'm doing here now um, is I am zooming in a little bit just so that I don't get those poles in the background because I don't want to try and edit those out in post-production. All right, so in your, uh, JD, chin into your shoulder this way, looking down, eyes to me, and then walk in, uh, Giorgio. That's it. Uh, that's it. Beautiful. All right. Th it's working for me, but JD, I need it to be, uh, uh, I don't want you to look too much into the camera. So chin down, looking down, and then as soon as he arrives, you're happy and you, uh, you, you interact with him a little bit. Okay, chin down, tilt your head to the other side, to the right. No, sorry, you were right, I was wrong. That's it, okay, come in, Giorgio. Beautiful, and JD, you're gonna get happy now. Hand onto his chest, lovely. Fantastic, love that. Very cool, chin down again. Beautiful, and all right. That's just gonna add to my repertoire over there. Okay, uh, I think I've got time for one more uh, demonstration. Have I? We good? One more, one more demonstration? Okay, so uh, the shot where... Uh, the shot where uh, the girl is lying on the floor at the bottom over there. Really nice uh, to be able to shoot from above. So what I'm going to uh, ask you to do, uh, JD, I'm just gonna put the camera down onto the floor. Okay, so what we're gonna do here, in general, there's more light coming from this side. So I don't want the light to be coming from below her. Uh, I want you to be lying on your, oh sorry, you still got the veil over your head. <laughs> okay, I want you to be lying on your back. Uh, Georgia, you're going to actually help me out here. Ah, oh, you know. All right, this happens all the time where suddenly I think of something. Twist your body more sideways, go across that way, because I saw you uh, stretching a little earlier because you've been standing in your high heels quite a lot. Uh, and I think what will work nicely... Okay, Giorgio, sorry, mate, I was all over the place there. If you could make the veil, uh, not the veil, the dress, look really cool on that side, that would work for me. What I saw you do is you went down on your... On your yeah, that's it. That's cool. You comfortable like that? Turn your face in this way a little bit. Okay, let me just switch lenses quickly. Uh, yeah, maybe not. 70 to, uh, 2470 should be okay. Yeah, I like that. The light stands I might take out a little later. Uh, but yeah, let's have a look over there. Beautiful. Chin down. That's nice. Looking, uh, chin down into your shoulder, but looking down over there. Uh, this hand over here, can you bring it across there? That's beautiful. Really cool. Lovely stuff. Okay, eyes to me. Okay, lovely, beautiful, and right. I'm very, very happy with that. Um, up you get, and we're going to do a shot where you are lying on the floor like this. Then we're going to bring your gorgeous husband into the shot as well. So you're going to help me here, please. Okay, so you're going to come forward. Yeah, and then let me help you down. You're lying on your back. Okay, and what we're going to do here, uh, don't go down right yet. What we're going to do is we're going to bring the veil in underneath her, but still give a lot more fabric on the top, so she's going to wrap herself in the veil. Okay, uh, lie down now, go backwards. Oh, sorry, sorry, sorry. Okay, that's cool, go back, go down. Okay, so you're going to hold on to some of this. Uh, yeah, let's just bring this all around her. Yes, beautiful. Okay, so uh, my next trick. If I had to shoot this from above, be totally honest now. Is this comfortable for you? Not really, right? So this is, this is a really cool tip that I learned uh, a while ago. Uh, coffee mug. I'm going to take a coffee mug and it fits perfectly under the back of her head. So go back down now. How cool is that? <laughs> and it looks so much nicer uh, with her face uh, instead of her head back like that. And if I had to tell her, uh, you know, lift your head up, it's going to be very, very uncomfortable for her. So let's have a look at what we've got over here now. Uh, let's bring this dress into it a little bit more. Okay, I, I really am only going to shoot from this 
area, uh, this region over here. Uh, and nice feature with the uh, LCD screen is being able to take it out. <laughs> I think I'm going to carry on going on with this lecture until somebody kicks me off the set. All right, so uh, I can then look at the screen and literally don't have to be, ah, oh, that's beautiful. Okay, so looking straight into the lens, that's it, nice. Right, now you're gonna do the same things with your hands that you did earlier. So from there, bring your hand up to, towards the top of your, yeah, oh, that's nice playing with your fingertips there, that's cool. So keep playing with your fingers there, lovely. Absolutely gorgeous, okay? And then your one hand up towards your neck area. Nice, there it is. Beautiful, and your other hand nice and soft. That's it. Eyes closed, very dreamy. Beautiful, there we go. Tilt your head towards me a little bit more. Nice, there we go. Okay, very nice uh, uh, shot is to get the groom with his head in over here. Maybe I should get a coffee mug for you quickly too. So put your, I want your head over here and your body going away that way. Uh, let me see if I've got another coffee mug there. We got another coffee mug there? Just that, that little, uh, that one's cool? Yeah, yeah, it's good. It's not very big, but it's good. <laughs> Thank you so much. All right, so Giorgio, lift your head up there. I don't want to mess up your hair. I know it took you uh, four hours to do that. Okay, <laughs> put your head back down again. Right, that's comfy, right? <laughs> You're going to sleep like that tonight. Uh, but I need your head right up close next to JD. So get right in close over there, even closer. All right, sorry, lift up. Yeah, there we go. Head down. Right, okay. Yeah, please don't move. We don't need shattered glass everywhere. All right, now. With your right hand, I want you to bring it in and hold on to his face. Yes, so pretty, really cool. Tilt your head in towards him a little more. There we go, beautiful, love it. Giorgio, eyes closed. Yeah, nobody trusts somebody who's got their eyes open when they're next to their wife like that. Okay, there we go. JD, turn your head in towards him a little bit more and eyes closed as well. And JD, you're gonna smell his perfume now. That's it. Fantastic. Um, Giorgio, your, uh, your, this hand here, if you, if you bring it up more, so, you, yeah, that's, that's cool. Let's see what happens there because I, I felt it. Yes, 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 that's better. That's nice. Okay, there we go. That's it. All right. Beautiful. And then uh, both of you, I know that was a lot of effort, but both of you stand up now, please. Let's take your uh, coffee cup out the way here. And then just my very last uh, bit of uh, advice. <laughs> you, need, you need some hand up here. Okay. Uh, what I'm going to do now is the last shot that I had over here, which is... Uh, this one, uh, this one over here. So this shot over there where um, I'm literally shooting the back of your head again. <laughs> so you're going to come around. Uh, let's see, I just need a really nice plain white background. So both of you just move away from me towards the wall. All right, looking good. Okay, right. So now, uh, JD, your, I'm just pulling your shirt down a little bit more here, mate. Just, yeah, it's a bit too high at the top here. Yeah, we good? Yeah, okay, so JD, your hands I want coming around his back here so that your fingertips are playing with each other at the back there like that. Okay, a little bit, so, a little bit further away like that. Rotate your bodies uh, more away from me anti-clockwise, that's cool. Uh, heads a little close together and then uh, chin down there, Giorgio. All right. Here we go. So uh, I'm going to just take my camera off here from this area here. And now I'm going to shoot that from up here. And then JD, uh, keep it just like that. I'm going to come out a little bit. Beautiful. And having this angle just makes things a little bit different. Okay, JD, chin up looking at the camera. 
Beautiful. Uh, Giorgio, chin down a bit more. Fantastic. Okay, now both of you, uh, heads towards me, heads together looking at the camera. Yeah, turn a little bit more there, Giorgio. Sorry, mate, I did mess up your hair. <laughs> right, JD, your hand, your right hand a little bit. Yeah, that's it, perfect. Okay, there we go. And all right, absolutely fantastic. Uh, I think that's pretty much it for me. Uh, I could go on all day. Uh, I think that what you've noticed and, and the, the message that I want to send to you is if you know your camera inside and out and you utilize the functions, uh, you know, all you have to do is focus on the client and evoking those uh, emotions. Thank you so, so much for watching. Uh, I'm going to carry on shooting because this is so much fun. Uh, thank you so, so much for watching and uh, yeah, hopefully uh, more things to come.